Hey guys, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick update on iOS 12.1.3 as well as iOS 12.1.2, the official release. Now, as you may or may not know, Apple released iOS 12.1.2 as an emergency release after its first beta to the public, right? So to fix a few issues with a patent dispute that they did have in China with Qualcomm to fix a few UI issues in China. However, with that software update release, iOS 12.1.2, Apple brought additional new enhancements to the software, but one in particular here, which is what I want to talk about today, is address an issue that could cause the cellular connectivity in Turkey, uh, problems with cellular connectivity in Turkey's or issues, right? So with this update that Apple released, iOS 12.1.2, uh, they fixed that issue, right? What I've noticed is that um, for the first time, iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max, I see a better user experience in regards to cellular connectivity and i'm super happy and super excited to announce this this is great news because i've been having issues with the cellular connectivity and the wi-fi connectivity i would go to places that i've connected to wi-fi before and the iphone would not instantly recognize it or connect again to the same networks that were already authorized now it is doing that uh, in regards to cellular connectivity one thing about that is that they do vary depending on location but i noticed that browsing and listening to music now it's a little bit better it's a lot smoother things are loading a lot faster which is a great great sign a great indication i was a really concerned that the issue with the Wi-Fi and, and cellular connectivity issues on my iPhone XS and XS Max, which I've been talking about for months since the official release of these devices, I thought it was a hardware issue and something that Apple uh, would have to fix. Although I'm not saying that it's completely fixed, maybe it's just me in my particular situation, but I do see an improvement on the cellular connectivity, the phone calls, the data transfers, the Wi-Fi connectivity, and all that great stuff. So it's really, really, really good news, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Now, the software iOS 12.1.3 beta 2 uh, takes over 12.1.2 which only had one beta, it had to be released. It's an emergency uh, release of the software, as I mentioned before, because of the patent dispute that Apple has with Qualcomm in China. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, share with you guys that this software, if you had issues with cellular connectivity or the Wi-Fi connectivity, you're not intending to jailbreak, I would recommend updating to iOS 12.1.2 and give it a try because the software is stable, it feels good, the battery is good, and uh, give it a shot. See if the uh, cellular connectivity gets better, if the Wi-Fi, would really, really, really like to know your thoughts, guys, in those comments down below if you were encountering these issues because, again, as I mentioned, these were things that I was encountering day in and day out. Now, in regards, as I mentioned, in terms of performance, how all the devices are running on this software has been really, really good. And I was just really happy to just let you guys know that the battery is good and the Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity are improving at least for me. And I wanted to get your feedback to see if it was for you. So just a really quick video, something to just, I just kind of express what I was, uh, you know, experiencing with the latest version of iOS 12.1.2 official and 12.1.3 beta 2 on my new device. Thank you for watching. Happy holiday, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you really soon. Peace.